Hey guys, Jason here for CharkGuys.com. Follow-up video for Array Biopharma. We covered this yesterday, and today it really didn't do much of anything. So what I want to do is cover exactly what happened, why it didn't seem to do much, and how we can use this really this lack of information to try to make a plan. Because if you're in this trade, you want to know what to expect, right? That's the whole point of technical analysis, getting a little bit of a, a clue as to what you might be facing in the coming five minutes or in the coming couple days. So... Let's take a look. 50 minute time frame. Here's today's trading action. A little bit all over the place. A couple of ranges set. Didn't see a lot of support resistance here at 26.14. So what I'll do in that case is it say, look, it doesn't matter. Chart's not paying attention to it. Let's get rid of it. And until we see a resistance from our historical levels, because that's what we're dealing with here, come into play, they don't matter. So that one doesn't matter. It's gone. Now we're looking at 15 minute chop. So if you're looking at CHOP and you're not seeing a lot of information here, no trends, no patterns, nothing making sense to you on the 50 minute time frame, what you can start to do is just zoom out. See if you get some more clarity. I'm not seeing a lot of clarity on the hourly either. A lot of CHOP back and forth. Maybe we set a hourly low. Maybe this will become an hourly downtrend, hourly uptrend. Right now we don't know. So that is sort of the hands off moment. And again, no clarity. Zoom out. Four hour time frame. All right, now things are starting to make a little bit of sense here. We're looking at a possible setup for either a four hour equilibrium or a continuation bullish pattern. So what we're gonna be watching for is to see if four hour bulls can get a little bit of action to the upside, still staying contained and building ourselves either a nice flag pattern, which will look a little bit like this, or an EQ pattern, which will have us forming basically a nice zigzag tightening range like that. Those are two potential outcomes that we could see. We don't have that yet on the four hour time frame, but I'll be watching both of those very cautiously. So if that happens to develop, that is a good way for the charts to consolidate, cool off, let that daily RSI have a few uh, days where it can sort of relax here. We can see that we had that RSI peak yesterday, and this is what a red day does for us. It allows that to cool off a little bit and drop from 65 to 63. Get a few more days like that, things will be looking a little bit better for potential pop to the upside, and that is what we would expect from a bull flag or a nice bullish continuation equilibrium. Now, if that does happen, I would be looking for short opportunities at the top of that spike, because remember, and don't forget, Weekly, we are very, very close to overbought. That might get us right into that overbought territory. And then we would expect the technicals, if they're going to follow the rules, to pull back and see some downside action in the coming weeks. So that's it for AARY. If you like technical analysis as much as I do, you and I should be friends and you should check out our website. And I'd love to talk to you. Chartguys.com.